Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn your PlayStation 2 into a full entertainment system. Now, my PlayStation died a, a few months back and I wasn't able to do more wits and there's a lot of potential in the PlayStation 2 that you need to know about. Well, first off, the USB port of the PlayStation 2 is annoyingly slow. So I'm going to show you how you can get everything you need from a network connection to your computer. So you can load music, videos, games directly off your hard drive. First off, you need to unlock PlayStation 2. If you need more information, you can go to my earlier vid, where I explain how you can unlock your PlayStation 2 with a memory card. Now, I have a newer model, version 9000 or something like that. That is actually blocked against the memory card. So your only choice there would be um, Action Replay or a Swap Magic Disk. Easy, easy to buy online and when you load everything off the network, you don't need to change any disks. So you don't need to worry about that, that thing. Second, for a network connection between the PlayStation 2 and the PC, you need a so-called crossover network cable. I know I'm talking about this a lot, but in the end it's way easier to connect two things directly instead of connecting it through a router. There, a normal uh, network cable works, but it's annoying to have a, a special box just to connect two things. Sorry. So now I'm going to explain to you in this part how you can how you have to configure your computer and your PlayStation 2 in order to connect properly. For this part of the tutorial, you're going to need two two pieces of software. First off, the PS2 client loader, which looks like this. The download link is down in the uh, in the info section. Minimize. And you're also going to, to need the SMS media player. Also, the link is in the info section. So, first off, I'm going to show you how you have to configure your computer to connect to the PlayStation 2. So, go down here to the network and sharing center. Go to change adapter settings right click on local area connection go to properties go to internet protocol version 4 properties and here you're going to input the following the ip address 192.168.0.2 and the subnet mask is usually automatically you just have to check if it's the same on computer and PlayStation 2. The other fields are blank. Once you have this done, you're good. Now you just have to make sure that your PS2 client loader is set up for the right IP. That means PlayStation 2 number 1 has the IP 192.168.0.10. We're going to configure this later on the PlayStation 2. And you're going to put the folders you want into the window. It's active, sorry. And they are simply added to the PlayStation 2 and easy accessible. So just hit start and your PS2 client loader is waiting for the PlayStation 2 to connect. That's all. Now you can minimize this to the tray and you're good. Now you, now you will want your PlayStation 2 to be able to connect to your computer. So open up your SMS media player, which is used to play MP3, movies, anything you want. So first off, uh, hit start. Go to device settings, network settings, and edit ipconfig point dev. Now, Here's the IP address for the PlayStation 2. Set it, make sure that it is set to 10. Now, next one is the subnet mask. Just make sure that it's the same with the computer and the PlayStation 2. With Windows 7 or Windows in general, you never know. And the last one is the gateway address. 
this is the address of your computer we configured it earlier so instead of one we change that to two of course now just go down and save and update the IP config that now go back to the device settings and start the network support also make sure that auto start network is enabled also the USB the HDD only works with um, fat PlayStation 2s and barely s nobody has it anymore so you can deactivate that and also disable CD DVD you don't need it in the end because the PlayStation 2 makes it very difficult to burn DVDs so enable to disable it <laughs> so now you're good your PlayStation 2 is going to connect to your computer this should be visible with the PS2 clear and loader goes green now you're good you can load your videos music and anything off your computer up to the next part see you there <laughs>